Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. Yes, it is that time again. Time to take up another champion. This is going to be my 13th rank 4 6 star. And if you think you can guess who it is, leave a comment below. Let me know what your guesses are. But we're about to reveal it in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hulkling. All right, so I just recently pulled Hulkling, and I just recently had a video taking him up to rank three. And to be fair, I did not think I would be taking him to rank four this soon. I thought I was going to have to wait for a little bit. I actually had somebody else in mind uh, that was going to be my next rank uh, four. But then the uh, rewards came in for the banquet. And uh, I got way higher than I thought. If you have not seen that video, go take a look. But I got a higher ranking, and I got a three to four rank up gem, which I did not expect. And so I spun it, and what do you know? I got a cosmic. I'm like the cosmic whisperer. I have so many cosmics already at rank four. But fortunately, I also have quite a few Cosmics that I still want to take to rank four. So if Kabam's RNG keeps on giving me Cosmics, I have at least three more. At least three more. Um, let me think. Four more. <laughs> I have four Cosmics that I would not mind taking up to rank four. Okay, so we're good. You know, if we get another three to four uh, rank up gem, and it's another Cosmic, we got Cosmics to take up to rank four. So anyway, because I just recently did a video with Hulkling, there's not a whole lot more uh, that I can add. You know, he is a beast. Uh, currently in the uh, Battlegrounds, there is a meta that he is great for. So a lot of people want him. And pretty much if you don't have him and you see him on the opponent's team, insta-ban. He's that good. He was good for the last meta too. He's a difficult champion to fight anyway, especially if you don't have the right counter. But in this meta, he is really nasty. So me having a rank four Hulkling, he will get banned, but... If he doesn't get banned, then you have to depend on the RNG of the draft and hope that you get your Hulkling and maybe your opponent doesn't have one or doesn't get his in the draft. Um, but that's just the nature of the uh, Battlegrounds. And while I'm not a big fan of the Battlegrounds, the store, I'm a big fan of the store. So I'm trying to make sure... I get enough points that I can get some good stuff from that store. So, um, Hulkling, as a as a as my next cosmic rank up was a no brainer. Now I don't have him yet awakened. He does not really need to be awakened. However, because I took him to rank four, I'm going to awaken him. And I'm going to probably put some Sig Stones into him just because he is rank four. Um, I thought about it and King Groot probably needs the Sig Stones more. There's a cosmic advancement going on right now. Uh, King Groot probably needs it more, but um, he's already at a good uh, uh, Sig level right now um i think i have him at like 150 something like that and i'll still be getting him to 200 but with hulkling at rank four i figured i could at least get him to like sig 20 you know i think i actually have 26 uh cosmic sig stone so i'll probably get him to like 26 so and, and i have um what four different uh generic awakening gems so yeah he doesn't need it but i'll give him one 
and give him uh, the Sig Stones. Uh, I got plenty. And of the other Cosmics, I know Null, I could use him Awakened also. But I'm not in any rush at the moment to Awaken him. But Hulkling... He does get some benefit from that uh, SIG ability, so uh, we're definitely going to do that. Um, in fact, we're going to do that uh, before we go into Realm of Legends uh, and fight Winter Soldier. All right, so I'm going to do that probably in this video right now. All right, so let's head on in to Realm of Legends and fight Winter Soldier. Okay, so as promised. We're going to go ahead and awaken him. And I had five. I, th I think I said I had four, but I had five. So there we go. He's now awakened. And here's his SIG ability. Personal Bulwark buff duration is increased by 1.5 seconds. Personal Fury buff, you guys know what Fury buffs do, uh, is increased by 0.5 seconds. And armor penetration for each active personal pierce buff will increase. So basically, more damage. All right, let's go ahead and... Uh, okay, I didn't have 26, I had 21. So let's go ahead and uh, give all of those to him. And let's see what it looks like here. Okay, so point uh, 1.85 increased up to... Uh, 0.85, and uh, armor penetration's gone up a little bit as well. So, again, it looks like it's it's more damage for him. All right, let us head on in. This is the team that I threw together really quick. Um, honestly, I'm not sure how much of a difference this makes, um, but max shape shift charge is increased to 12. 50% uh, chance when striking the opponent while unblockable to inflict a non-stacking armor break debuff for 10 seconds, reducing armor rating by 500. More damage. Uh, when striking a tech opponent, 50% chance per armor up buff uh, they have to gain a non-stacking pierce buff. More damage. And the number of pierce buffs needed to trigger peak transformation. I'm still not even sure what peak transformation is unblockable buff is reduced by one i'm sure it's something that we want <laughs> so let's go ahead in here um i really need to learn um hulkling a little bit better for sure okay um the one for tech doesn't even matter like i said i just threw it together all right let's go in and Okay, so I'm unblockable. There's the armor break. Only got one armor break. But I have four pierce on. Okay, look at that damage though. Okay, one crit. I was gonna say, we didn't get like any crits on that. But look at the damage he's doing. That is crazy. Let's hit him with a special one. Okay. He's got some good damage. Whoops. Well, that's good. Because I wanted to hit you with a special three anyway. I kind of got thrown off because um, I went unblockable. And I wasn't quite prepared for it. But just look at him. He's just... Uh, he caught me as soon as I let my finger up. He attacked. But look at my look at my health. Even getting hit like that. Look at my health, y'all. This is insane. Okay, come on. Hit him with a special, uh, 
two. Whoa, now that was some good uh, crits right there. I think I'm taking more damage from my uh, recoil than anything. That was nice. Definitely nice. He's got some damage, y'all. But we're gonna we're gonna end it there. Um, hopefully, you see the power of Hulkling. You probably already have. Uh, he's been talked about uh, quite often, but he is a beast. You can see the damage uh, that he is able to do. All right. So that's going to do it. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. Let me know what you thought about Hulkling. And if you are a Hulkling expert, leave a comment. I read them and it helps me out. You know, when people give me little advice and tips on, you know, how to use him, I try it out. And you may see me starting to do that in the future, you know. But anyway, take care. And you all have a... Bless the day.